Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Boy, those pigmen are sure angry. How's everyone doing? I am doing okay. Trying to repair some stuff here. I've got some digging to do. And need some stuff fixed up to do it. But before we get to that, I have a little thing to do out over here. Um, oh, it's right there. Net Slayer's on. You can see him right down there. Hello! I'm going to buzz, buzz, buzz. Uh, Net Slayer's on. He hasn't been on in a while. And uh, he was talking about we were scoping out area around here for him to build. And so he's thinking about building a nice, a good sized tower. So we might have a little skyline developing. As uh, Lorax hasn't built up any, but he's been digging down, which I've shown you. Uh, and there's what I'm here for on the floor there. But Lorax intends to build from bedrock to build limit, which is pretty impressive. Oh, did I just hit that? I think I did. All right. So while I was out over here showing, giving a little impromptu tour. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Nestler already did that work for me. So I am short one block, one uh, <laughs> uh, stone brick. Uh, we had a little creeper problem. I'm not positive where he came from, but let's see here. Do we have... All I need is like a couple of things of stone. So let me grab this. That's why I keep this. There we go. Don't even need a crafting table. Blop. Blop. There we go. Put it all back away. There we go. All fixed. Cannot even tell where it happened. Very cool. So we, uh, <laughs> I was standing over here, and I think a creeper came from, there's a couple spots over here where it got a little bit on the dark side, like along here maybe, or maybe up here, don't know, so I spammed down some additional torches, we need to get the lighting over here fixed and pronto, let's, uh, let's go check out the iron farm, and then I'll get to what I was planning on doing, come on. I was planning on flying today, but that doesn't seem to be. I have my Elytra on. And I'm not getting any. Okay. The server has been, has suffering some interesting things lately. It's, uh, the memory's kind of maxed out a little bit, and I'm not entirely sure why. I need to re, sort of manually restart the server. I have it set up to restart every night in the middle of the night, which in theory should rectify some of this, but it, uh, it doesn't actually seem to. So periodically I have to reset it, and, uh, but Netslayer's been on today, so I haven't been able to. And it seems to be fine until, and I'm not trying to cast a blame here, but it seems to be fine until Barb makes things logs on. And I'm not sure if it's something about the, uh, <laughs> the amusement park area and the slime farm or something to do with, I, I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't figure it out, but it seems to peg the, the memory on the server Whoa! Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, that's that's not cool. Somebody lacks. Boop! A little bit of pattern recognition skills. Let's not do. Oh. Okay, there's still. Still blocks over there. Okay. Somebody came and cleared out a whole mess of iron in a way that doesn't help with the collection process. All right. 
Anyway, where was I? I got I got sidetracked. Plop. Thirteen more blocks of iron. Even with the plundering that took place. Bloop, there we go. Cool. Um, oh, it's server. Server gets up to 100% memory. Don't know why I have to restart it for it to clear out. Even when everyone logs off, the server stays at 100%. Um, and I'm not sure if there's something going on in the amusement park area that is effectively loading those chunks and keeping large numbers of entities processing. I don't know if it even works that way. I don't know. Let's see if we can get airborne here. There we go. Much better. And it could be that I was concerned about the community area here causing a bit of lag because we do have quite a quite a few structures here and people with farms and stuff. And even though I I went through and and called Net Slayer's uh, animal crops, animal herds. Uh, just to cut down on the number of entities if we look here um, We have almost 300 entities in this area right now. That's that's a bit much. Oh look see he's digging out a area for a foundation Very cool. Very excited to see what he does with that So anyway home again home again jiggity jig Hello, mr. Big man All right, so not too much to update you on here. I finished the floor, but I think I showed that over. I almost finished the floor. I have to tear up all these tracks and fix the floor in the floor beneath. Get rid of all this stone and any sand that happens to be there and get rid of all that good stuff. Tick, 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 tick. Um, and then I'm thinking about getting rid of this line of torches. It goes up the, ex the center point of the pyramid but then this row of lights in the ground are at the center point and I have a block of gold at the center point so I'm not positive that that is needed and I only have it on that one wall the other three are, are blank um, so it, it kind of unbalances things it does point towards the south I think that's the south right facing south points towards the south which is what I consider to be the front of the pyramid as I said I have a block here that shows this but I have a I have a plan part of why I wanted to do this was for this plan um, so over here in the village if you remember there were a couple mild hills in the village area here it was all sitting on raised ground and yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't anymore. I put everything on stilts. So we have well, all the, all the farm areas are up here. And I got rid of the sand that was at the bottom of the trough and replaced it with glowstone to help with the lighting. I still have some, some torches up here that I want to get rid of. So I'm thinking of placing a uh, little lamp post type things here. Uh, this was fascinating. You can't really see down there at the moment. Uh, and I'm not going to jump in because you can't really get out. But this was spawning squids galore. And while I was working on that, I kept getting squids dying out over here. But I basically lifted up all the buildings so that they're up in the air. I need to work on the lighting. I need to get some access to some of these. I want to get all the torches off the ground, at least. Not that this is of really any use. This isn't, even if I had villages over here, this would not count as a village. Because there's no sky access. So none of these doors count as houses. So that's that. But it's here, and it's decorative, and I've got it even underneath the buildings and underneath the, uh, the farm areas. It's all sandstone. Uh, the well goes below this, but that's fine. So this is my little uh, village area, little village prep pre preservation, and I might have some fun with that. I could build it out a little bit. Uh, it was kind of, I kind of preserved it. I kind of kept it as, as a way of just sort of highlighting the, just how big this thing is, because there was a village that generated that was entirely inside the footprint of the where I built the pyramid, but 
Uh, and with Net Slayer on, I do not think we're going to have a lot of slimes spawning over here. So I do have a little bit of stuff I can do. I have to figure out where I'm going to start this, though. Let me see if I can get some supplies and see what we can do. Here we are facing south, which is positive Z. And this is where I want to dig to. I want to get to here. I want this to be the wall. So that's 1731. 1731. Okay. So this is. 62. Right. Okay, so that needs to be there. I want to preserve, I want to dig here, and I want to dig here. So this is kind of where I want to be digging. Alright, and. I want to dig out to minus 147. yet. Oh. There we go. Look at this. Okay, so now I overshot one, two, three, four, um, oh, where's, where's the next guy? So this is here. So the glowstone that I put into the ground, oh, I need to dig out him. There we go. Look at that. Yes. There we go. There we go. If I dig out underneath, I have... You know what? I'm one too high here, I think, aren't I? I don't want this just to be too tall. Bump my head on everything. Let's go down one more. Ah, there we go. This is going to be a project and a half, but uh, this will be a good sort of project to sort of keep going in the background. Part of this is busy work until we can update the server, and I have some I have some news on that. Um, not like super urgent breaking news, but so from here. If I go look at my light levels, everything should be good. Ah, oh, happy, 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 happy. Okay, so all of these will be fine. Cool. So I am going to do some digging here. And as long as I dig in the right area, I will get light just by, just by near virtue of the fact that I've already dug in uh, I've already dug out the floor above, and it's a solid thing of sandstone. And I put glowstone periodically throughout it. So I can actually dig out a whole floor. Oops, use the right tool here. A whole huge floor that matches the same footprint as the pyramid. 
and have it down here. Don't know what I'll do with it. And there will be things that get in the way. The, the farms, for instance, will get in the way. Because uh, they, they are dug down. It's back. They are dug down all the way down to the bedrock, so each of those holes. And uh, the well in the village goes down below. And then I will run into some interesting challenges with the spots here where I put uh, the villagers in and the farms there. So, hang on a second. Bowser, stop. Thank you. So I do have to be careful of occasionally accidentally knocking out the floor. And that might be a good reason to replace it all with something a little bit more durable. But, 1714, and I might go put in a beacon <laughs> just for this. But with sand, since so much of this is sandstone, beacon isn't super helpful. 1729, 30, 31. So I think this is as far as I want to go. Nope. 1731. This here, I want to be the foundation of the pyramid. Um, 32. I'll have to double check because I think right here I want to go up. And I want that to be like that. And we will just put in wall here. I'll take the iron though. Oops. And there we go. I think that's as far as we want to go. And from here, I should be able to dig over four blocks to the side. Or five blocks at the side and and get another light so I can start clearing this out I can just go like this and just start clearing it out I need to figure out how far to go in each of the other directions but I can just sort of dig it out cell by cell and it's not super I mean it's Uh, since I'm only digging three blocks, it won't be too bad. There we go. Woohoo! And all this should be. Oh, I have seven here. Okay, I may need to put in some lighting to keep stuff from spawning. Huh. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. But anyway, so this is pending project number one. There's some work here. And along this path, everything will be okay, right? Light-wise? Yeah, everything's cool. And in the corners? Yeah. Interesting. We'll figure that out. Very cool. So that is, as I said, pending project number one. We'll scope through the door properly. we go there's some slimes down there oh mr. slime what are you doing you're fighting the current don't fight it don't fight it just go into the cactus there we go so 1.13 update news oh we got a bunch of slime balls I have to convert a couple of those bros into slime blocks. Uh, I've been testing 1.13.1, the spigot dev release. They still do not recommend updating worlds, but uh, I, I have a test server where I have this world loaded, and it seems to be okay. Not super worried about it. Uh, so 
I, I mean, all my testing is, has sort of indicated that things are fine, and I've got the um, the Hermitcraft data pack updates for the things that uh, the sort of command block type things that we've have in the server here. So like the one place, the one player sleep system, and ooh, that one's full, and. Um, the mob head drops and all that good stuff. I've been testing those out on there. They seem to work just fine. So I've sort of got it so that with the data packs, things will be working pretty much the same way that they have been here. So everyone will be familiar with, with how the server works. Don't want to change too much stuff. There's plenty of data back stuff that we are not, I'm not going to put on, but that's, I think that'll be fine. Um, and there we go. Empty pockets and go. Nice. There we go. So uh, I'm going to dig out a floor down below here. Again, it will have some interruptions. And then maybe next weekend, I will update the server to 1.13 going to be off to coordinate with everyone we have a discord server that i've set up to sort of discuss updates and things like that and so the plan is uh that i will shut down the server and make sure everyone's off and then go do a backup of the of the world download that so that i have something to roll back to should it become necessary oh what happened here Oh no! And of course I don't have any sandstone left on me. Uh, install the data packs, clean up the old command functions uh, stuff, and and then bring it back up, test it, and then then let everyone come on and do their thing. What am I doing? I was going to get one piece of sandstone. So that's that's kind of the plan. Um, we'll see, and then I will do probably a whole series of episodes where I go exploring in the newly generated chunks because we'll have uh, the I'll light up the portal down at the end of the the big long tunnel in the Nether and hop out in new chunks which if I if my testing is correct it's going to be in the middle of an ocean which is going to be interesting uh, but then we'll go and see if we can make some dolphin friends and see if we can make some turtle friends and uh, yeah and, and play around with the fishies catch some fish make an aquarium that sort of stuff should all be fun so that's that's the plan I'm thinking next weekend we'll see I'm still kind of Partly holding my breath, waiting for Spigot to release a stable version of 1.13.1. But I just don't see it happening. Because they don't seem to be in any kind of a rush. And I'm not entirely sure why. 